y'all. I'm here with a, another video for you this week. This one's an instructional video. What do you think of my shiny new journal, huh? It's pretty cool, right? It's got the nice spine. I got a little handmade charm hanging off the bottom there. It's got four signatures of 120 weight paper in Manila. Look how thick that is. It's got a pretty snazzy cover. I pretty much like it. You can sit here and do all your journaling in here. You can do really big spreads and you can do single pages and stick all kinds of stuff in here. Envelopes, paint on it, sand it. This paper, I've been told, can take a lot. Take a look and keep on ticking. It's nice and hard and pretty and cool and how would you like to learn how to make one of these in about a half an hour today, huh? I promise it won't cost you more than 10 bucks at the store. Take you about a half an hour. Then you get to decorate it and call it your own and everybody can admire it and say, well that looks pretty cool and you can say, well I made it myself. How's that sound to everybody, huh? Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is cut the paper out of your composition book. And all you do is you go, you open it to the middle and you go underneath the stitches in here and then just remove the paper completely. Make sure when you do this that the outer spine here stays intact because you're going to need that later on. The second thing you're going to want to do is cut this cover down to whatever size you want your journal to be. I cut an inch off the top, which makes my journal 9.25 by this 7.875. That's the size I want my journal to be. Next, you're going to take your file folders, put them in the book, make the bottom even, and then cut just this part off. So the height is the same. Don't worry about this side yet because you're going to do that after you're finished. Once you've done all that, you want to separate your index or your manila folders into signatures. So I have five in each signature. They're just inside each other. And then I have my stack of signatures. And depending on how thick your folders are, you want to make sure that they'll fit in the spine. So just put them in squeeze it down and make sure that they'll fit inside here. And mine look like they'll fit, so we're ready to move on. An important thing to remember about doing this kind of journal is that you want an even number of holes along the spine. Since I have four signatures, I went ahead and divided the spine vertically four in four equal parts. And you can see that by these four vertical lines running all the way down the spine. That's where my signatures are going to be sewn in. And then you can see all these other lines. Because I had to figure out how to get an even number of holes in a spacing that worked for me. When your place is marked in here, what you want to do is go through and poke through the spine, wherever the two lines intersect. Okay, so your spine should look something like this. And you can see all the holes, and that's where I'm going to be sewing. And it's okay if they're not exactly completely even. Um, they'll be fine. Next, you need to take a scrap piece of paper around something you cut off the index cards and make sure it's the same height 
as your journal is going to be. Um, just paper clip a piece of paper in. to there. Turn your book this way and follow one roll of holes, making sure to punch through the piece of paper on the inside. So then you have what we're going to use as our guide for the rest of the signatures. Okay, take that guide and paper clip it into your signature, lining up the folds. Then Using the guide, punch through. And on each signature, you'll have the holes punched along the signatures. Do that for each one. As you can see here, these lines don't match up, which means that I need to flip these signatures over so that they do. Next, to open up your string and give yourself a generous amount. It's better to have too much than too little. So tie your knot. Don't cut off the tail yet. Okay, now that I have my thread. I'm going to take my first signature and line it up with the first line 